Okay, since we've uh, used the slope to complete the table, what if we put that point in the middle of the table, right? We got to find all the other points around it. So you notice, right? Same idea, though. We got a slope of three-fifths, rise over run, y over x. So that three is increasing in the y column, and the five is increasing in the x column, right? So let's go ahead and add the three in the y column. Five plus three, eight. Eight plus three, 11. All right, we're good, right? Just like before, but now we got to work backwards. Remember, if we're increasing as we work down the table, well, we're decreasing as we work up the table. So now as I work backwards, I'm going to do the opposite of adding. I'm going to subtract three. And let's do it. Five minus three, that's two. And two minus three, that's negative one. Right. That is the idea. Right. Don't forget if it's increasing as we go down the table, it's decreasing as we go back up the table. Right. Those numbers are getting bigger as we work down, smaller as we work up. Right. That's that's really it. Right. One direction versus the other. Right. So let's go ahead to the plus five side now. Right. Now we got plus five again. Let's add going down 10, 10 plus five, 15, 15 plus five is 20. Now, remember, when we work back up the table, right, if we're increasing as we go down, we're going to decrease as we go back up the table, right? So now i got to subtract 5 going the other way. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. All right, and you can see right there, right? Now we got to find the y-intercept, right? Circle that. Boom, we know it's when x equals 0. Right, 0, negative 1. And that's what we write when it says coordinate to the y-intercept. We write 0, comma, negative 1. And what does that mean? Where is that located? At negative 1 on the y-axis. All right, so remember, if it's increasing as you go down the table, it's going to decrease as you go back up. So you've got to make sure you're going to subtract the number as you work back up the table. Right, that's the key. All right, so let's go practice this and figure out how to use the slope to complete the table in this situation.